Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Nilendu and I'm going to teach you how to write a Hello World REST web service with Jersey client. And just to remind you, uh, if you want more tips and tutorials, they are available at http www.freetipscentral.com. So let's see what we are going to learn. We are going to learn how to write a Hello World web service with Jersey library and it will be deployed on Tomcat. So what are the tools we require? We will require STS which I am using or you can also have any other version of Eclipse. You will also require Tomcat or any other J2EE application server. If you are using STS you will find a Tomcat inbuilt with the Pivotal server. You will also need Jersey libraries. So, if you want to see what are the libraries you need, you can visit this URL, and this URL contains uh, its text version of this tutorial along with links to the Jersey libraries. You will need a web.xml which will which is the deployment descriptor for the web application and uh, this also you will find in the tutorial link mentioned in point number three and lastly you will need a rest class which provides the service so now let's see how to write the service or create the service okay guys now we will see how to create a simple hello world hello world web service uh, which is a rest service using jersey api so first of all we will create a dynamic web application just a new right click new and dynamic web project so i'm using sts let's call it rest web service and we will select tomcat so i'll go here and i'll select uh, apache tomcat 7 because that's what i have in my laptop <clears throat> so c drive then uh, software tomcat apache so this is the installation directory of the tomcat apache which i have selected and i'll say finish so uh, my runtime is going to be on the tomcat apache server and web module is 3 as you have see, as you can see here and i will just say next so src folder will contain my source java files and then i say next and i just confirm that my context row to be a rest web service and content directory will be web content and then just finish and i'll say yes just so that i can go to j2ee perspective <clears throat> so i have a basic uh, structure ready for the project now what i need is i need the libraries for jersey so what i i have already downloaded them so i'll copy them from here Just copy and paste i also have a web xml which i'll copy I'll show you what it contains. So you can see several jars, all of which may not be required for this uh, demo, but we will be needing them when we see how to work with JSON or XML later. So I've kept all of them instead of downloading again and again. And in case you want to see how, how to download them, where to download them, you can go to uh, the link which I have provided below this tutorial uh, in the description section in the youtube so we have everything now we will create a package <coughs> and uh, we'll see new package we'll say com dot free tips central Now let's see web xml briefly so we have only two entries one is just a single sublet 
declaration which is the sublet container which is within the jersey api and we have init param and which says that where are the packages located so we are saying that the rest uh, rest classes will be within the package called com dot free tip central that's why i created a package called com dot free tip central and the servlet would be mapped to slash rest so that means if you want to access the uh, rest service you have to add slash rest slash then the service name if you want to access the rest service so that's very simple web xml now we will write the java class <coughs> so we we'll right click new class hello world rest service so this is going to contain the service so we have to map it to a path so we'll say at the rate path this path annotation is existing in rest api jars so so we will import that first so click it and say import and then we will give the path which is slash the world now we will create a <coughs> method which will service this service uh, which will give the output of the service so it's a public string get greetings so this service or this method will accept a name of the person as parameter and return hello and then hello and gre hello greeting to the name so since it will return a string so out so the return type is string here so let's create a variable called greeting and we will initialize it with hello and we will return it just to get rid of the compile error return. okay <clears throat> now there are very few things left first of all since it is a get method so we will declare an annotation of get and import it then we will tell that what kind of output is produced by this method so we will say it produces and we will say media type dot text and plain and let's import this so and thirdly we have to tell what is uh, what is the path of this service so let's say path so since we are expecting a name as input so we have to give that a variable name so let's call it name so we are whatever is passed so that will be passed through this name variable and just two more thing left one is we have to declare a context which will contain the context of the request and the value is http headers and that is going to contain any header variables such as username password etc and the second is path param we will select the java extra wa web service dot rest service and we will say that whatever is passed as name is actually a string and for the method purpose it will be referenced as name and then whatever is coming from here this will be uh, stored as hello and name and we will return the greeting now we will create a server so let's create a server so right click new server and we will say patch a tomcat j tomcat and we will give uh, 
our version and just say next add this service and finish now we will start the server select it and just start the server so they should start the server okay so our code is complete now we will try to access this service let's see how to access the service so you can also do it here so you just right click run as run on server and finish so we will now map it to the path where we have so slash rest because in web xml we have mentioned that every rest resource will be accessed by a rest uh, uri then we'll say hello world slash million so as you can see it is greeting sending the greeting with hello so if i change the name to anything else So output will be changed so reason why so the reason why we have said slash hello world is because it's mentioned or mapped with slash hello world and this name parameter is nothing but what is mentioned here so i hope this tutorial was useful to you and uh, in case you have liked it please uh, like my video and also subscribe to my channel because i'm going to add few more tutorials on REST service very soon and see you again next time.